On the, on the ankle, yeah. no run. And you think that Sean Pollock and Lance Clouser have got to be a bit inventive here because they know basically what's coming. There's going to be those in swinging Yorkers right in the block hole. So we go down to Howie on the sand. Well, Gucci, Clouser is not out here, and that's the surprise. I guess the South Africans figured as Gillespie comes in and just a single there. I don't think they'll get back to two on that one. They went with Rhodes, the right hander, figuring he'd be able to go with the win. First time they've done that. So you'd imagine he'll be looking for the Yorker, bending down on that one knee, and the little sweep shot over backward square will be his target. Dizzy Gillespie trying to bowl the in-swingers, which is a risk when he's trying to play that little sweep shot, Gucci. Yeah, it is, but um, he's going to have to get a lot of the bat, and, and Gillespie might change up and bowl a length ball. What, what Jonty's got to try and do probably is, is try and mess his length up so he doesn't, you know, he just can't slot it in on the toes there. So Gillespie, the ace in the deck. A Rhodes has got it up in the air, and it's just short of mid-off. they yet to dismiss Jonty Rhodes, and he's shown on occasions, Gucci, that while Clusen is the nota hitter with Sean Pollock, that Johnny's just as capable of getting it up and over the boundary. Oh, definitely, you know, he's a, he's a class act, and uh, Jason Gillespie just changing his length there, not getting it right in the block hole. But it's about outthinking the bowler and the batsman each ball. What's he going to do here? Oh, he went the other way. They'll take one. They're going to think of two. Lehman putting in the big ones. If he hits, he's out. Oh! It was brilliant work from the skipper. It was the big strides from Sean Pollock. And this game is on. Well, absolutely on. That's good cricket all round. Sean Pollock, you know, taking the ball by the horns, going for the two. Pretty good throw from Darren Lehman. Mark Wall unable to take it cleanly. It's good cricket, you know, good running, good fielding. And uh, it's going to go right down to the wire, this one. It is, and Michael Kasparovic just loosening up. It's a big over to come. Jason Gillespie still some work doing. Well done, Darren Lehman again. Oh, had the shine. Had he hit, it might have been touch and go. Darren Lehman, you've turned the clock back 15 years with that agility. <laughs> Try 22, I reckon. <laughs> right. Never done that before. Didn't do it when I played cricket, actually. Oh, that is great work. Yeah, you're looking good out there in the Tilbury docks, the socks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the Tilbury. Tilbury there for years. <laughs> Tilbury docks. What's that? <laughs> Tilbury docks. It's in, Essex. it's in Essex. Tilbury docks. Oh, it? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Big over this from Jason Gillespie. He's done well. What can Sean Pollock do here? It's up in the air. It's on the breeze. It's huge, and it's over. And that is a massive blow from the South African skipper. Just when they needed it, the captain delivers. Wow, there's the spirit of the game there. Jason Gillespie. So big over for Michael Kasparovic. Good start, just the single. That's a win for the Australians, but it does keep the board ticking over for the South Africans. Yes, I mean... The whole key about this situation is like any game of cricket, in Forex Gold Beach cricket, the batsmen are Sean Pollock, Jonty Rhodes here. They've got to keep a lid on things. They've got to keep their composure and deliver the cricket shot. That's the most important thing when you're chasing runs. Kasprovic again. They'll do the full bunger. They'll think of two. Rhodes is quick. Fleming's got to shine the stumps. He can't get there. And that is a big weapon for the South Africans here. Jonty Rhodes' speed between the stumps. Definitely. It was a bonus for him there, John T. Far too quick for Damien Fleming. He's tough to run across the sand. And uh, just keeps him in it. And uh, plenty of balls left. Still four balls to go. So could go either way. But probably still need a boundary now. You, you know, you don't want to leave it to the last ball, that's for sure. You've got to try and finish it before the last ball if you can. Well, you've talked about how important one ball can be. Well... A wicket for the Australians or a boundary for the South Africans is going to be crucial here. It's a full toss, it's through him. A dot ball, it's a mini win for the Australians. It is a mini, a bit like a tie break in tennis, isn't it? It's a mini break there and that was a good ball there. Had a Sean Pollock to be... That was wide. Sean Pollock be kicking himself there, missing that. It was a full toss. He, he opted to go outside off stump as well. Kasprovic again. Oh, it's a beautiful delivery. Goes the other way, holds it up against the breeze. And bang, bang, two dot balls back to back for the Australians. Well, now the pressure's on now. It's definitely a boundary needed from one of these two balls now. It's a one ball game, Mari. <laughs> Thank you, Gucci. <laughs> well, a dot ball here from Kaspar. It's up. It's a chance. He's got the wicket. And the crowd have gone nuts. Kasprovic delivers. The skipper takes the catch. And Cool and Gatter is alive. Well, a big smile on faces here.